Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here with a review of Crow for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad. Crow is a very different type of game than you usually find on iOS, with a heavy emphasis on the setting and feel of the game. You play as a crow, and the game is split half into a free-roaming flight mode, and half into an on-rails fighter. While the gameplay is definitely very unique, the real draw is in the fantastic setting and theme. Throughout the game, you'll find different narratives, which will explain a bit about the story, and try and convince you to either spare or curse the boss of that level. While in free flight mode, you're able to look around at the level for the story points along with trinkets. These allow you to upgrade various skills, such as shield, attacks, and more, and are quite important towards the end. You can also discover challenge maps, which can allow you to get more upgrades, as well as provide a fun little diversion for you to get ready for the boss fights. As far as the core gameplay goes, on paper it sounds very bizarre, but it's actually not bad. The crow goes onto rails, and you're able to move it by dragging your finger around the screen. Sometimes you need to avoid obstacles and collect power-ups, but the majority is the combat. Each enemy in level is different, but usually you're either swiping to attack or drawing a circle to form a shield. All of this uses magic, which regenerates as you fly and pick up the power-ups, and how you use your magic definitely requires some planning in the later boss fights. It's hard to bring across on video, but one of my favorite parts of Crow is the theme. The graphics overall look great on the iPad 3's Retina display, although sometimes you can notice things look a bit rough when it gets up close. The music is also just excellent. Crow definitely isn't a perfect game. My first playthrough had issues with a glitch that made me force quit, and I grinded away at the final boss for over 20 minutes before realizing the way to win was by using a mechanic the game hadn't really even explained or used before. On the flip side, the presentation was fantastic for an iOS game, and the entire premise of the Crow was quite interesting and kept me hooked all the way through for the two hours or so it took to complete. It might not be for everyone, but I have to say the Crow is one of the best games I've ever played on iOS. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to leave it a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more videos like this, be sure to subscribe.